Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, so here we are on the 28th December 2019 and today we will analyze the result of the gift profile that I gave you for free exactly one month ago. So I unzip this file, 27 November 2019 for our envelopes. Ok, all the profiles are unzipped now. Ok, and we will start with the Australian dollar profile from the forward chart and let's start with odd USD. So the white vertical line is when the profile was delivered and we have to count all the trade after that. So I just summarized the strategy that we use for this specific strategy. We will take a trade when the price is outside the envelope. The envelope are those dotted line right here, top and bottom of the price. When there is a level we enter a pending order, limit, buy limit or sell limit. And as a stop loss we will use the 3 time ADR divided by 2 plus the spread, around 2 pips on average and can be more. And for the target profit we will take 3 times the value of the stop loss. So for example of this specific currency pair, when we enter a trade, we take 118, we divide it by 10 first, then we divide it by 2, which make it around 6 pip, and I will make around 7 to 8 pip stop loss, 8 pip stop loss on this specific pair, and the target profit will be 8 times 3, 24 pips. So if we place a trade at this level, we place 8, 8 pip as a stop loss, and the target profit will be 24 pips. That's the way this strategy works. So let's start, and we will do worst case scenario. So first we have this level, which is at the envelope, I still count it, and this one is a losing trade. Now next level didn't touch outside the envelope, so this level is gone. Next level is this level, so it touched outside the envelope, it may have 12 pips against us, so this is a losing trade, another one. So far on this profile, two losing trade. Now let's look at Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. So this one touched inside the envelope, but come back after right here, outside the envelope. So this one is a winning trade. It made 6 pip against us and it made 27, so obviously a good trade. Then we have this level right here, touch outside the envelope, made against us. So the stop loss should be in 16, 8, 8 plus 2, 10 pip stop loss. And it made 10 and against it made 13. So it's a losing trade. That's it for odd CAD. Now let's look at odd CHF. So we start right here, and the first trade is right here. So stop loss would have been 14, 7 plus 2, 9 pips, and it made 6 pips against us, and it's a winning trade. So this level is gone. Now we have this level right here outside the envelope. So made 6 pips, stop loss is 9, and it made 14 pips only. It made 18 pips, so actually it made 2 reward, and with 2 reward we put the stop loss to break even. So this is a break even trade. And this level is gone. Now we have this level right here, outside the envelope, and to enter our trade, we trade the level minus the spread. So on this level, the spread made around 1.8, which would have been around the, the trade, so I will not count it, but this could have been a nice, very winning trade. So I remove it, it's not a winning, it's not a losing. And now we have this level, but it's inside the envelope, so, and after I didn't retouch, so I remove it also. Now we have this level right here, made 6 pips against, and made, uh, tac tac stop loss would have been 9, 9, 27 pips, it's a winning trade now. So it went against us, 5 pips, and it made 27, so this one is a winning trade. And that's it for this profile, now let's look at odd. New Zealand. So on New Zealand, uh, this one is gone. This one was around the envelope, so I don't don't count it. After inside the envelope, inside the envelope. So those two level same. We have no trade actually on this profile. Everyone touch every trade touch inside the envelope. 
odd GPY. So our first level right here touched inside the envelope and never came back, so this level is gone. Second level right here is inside the envelope, so it's not a trade. And after it touched outside the envelope right here actually. So stop loss would have been uh, 8 plus 2, 10 pips. And it made 15, so one loss right here. Two loss with this one. Three loss. Three loss on this profile. Now let's look at Odd Singapore. Odd Singapore. This level doesn't touch inside the envelope. Same here. So this one is gone. After we have this level. So when price go up right here, right here, it's inside the envelope. But after price went outside the envelope and touched the level, and this one is a very nice winning trade. So we have one win. And once this level has been taken properly outside the envelope, we can remove it. And now let's look at the second. The second is right here, outside the envelope. Obviously, stop loss would have been uh, 7.5 plus 2, 9.5 pips, and it made uh, 8.3 pips against us, and it's a nice winning trade. Another. So this one is a win, and we can delete it once it's taken properly. After, inside the envelope, and inside the envelope. So no trade anymore. Now let's look at Euro Odd. Euro odd, we start here. So inside the envelope, inside the envelope, inside the envelope. So this level, uh, this one is gone. Yeah. Outside the envelope, we have one touch since we take place the trade a bit before with the spread of the moment. This one is a winning trade. He went against us uh, zero pips and went all the way. So we have one win right here. This one, this one, no, didn't touch anything. It touched. I already two to two times, so I remove it totally. Here, what about this? So we have one trade right here. The ADR is 29, so 15, 15 plus uh, 3, since it's 29, it would be 18 actually, 18 pips against us, and it made 17. So this one is a winning trade actually, and it made more than 80 pips, so it's a very nice trade. So one winning at this level, you can remove it. This one is inside, so no trade. And this one is inside too, no trade here. Now let's look at GBP odd. Okay, outside the envelope, nothing touch this one. Eventually one losing trade right here. So this level is a losing trade. So far we have six wins, six losses. Now second level right here, very nice level. So stop loss would have been 54 divided by 2 plus 5. Uh, 27 plus 5, 32 pips. So it made only 19 pips against us and it made 200 pips. So it's a huge win trade right here. And what do we have after? This one is inside the envelope. So no trade. This one is inside. This one is outside. And this one is a losing trade. So we just have one loss and the other one are inside the envelope. So now let's look at CAD, CHF, Singapore and Metal Pairs. Okay, so outside the envelope, this one was inside, so no trade. This one was a bit outside, so it's a losing trade. Stop loss would have been 3.3 plus, uh, let's say, 1, 4.3 pips, so one loss here. Yeah. Then, 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 everything is inside. Yeah, everything is inside the envelope, so no trade. Now let's look at silver USD. Inside the envelope when it touch. This one is uh, inside. Actually, we can count one loss to be sure. One loss and one win. I count this one as a loss, even if it seems it's inside. And the next one is a very nice winning trade. Inside, inside, inside the envelope. Inside the envelope. And that's it for this profile, this uh, pair. Now let's look at gold. What do we have on gold? Okay, we have a trade right here. So the stop loss would have been 35 divided by 2. So 17, 18, 18 plus 3, 21 pips stop loss. 21 pips stop loss. And it made 22. So this one is a losing trade. And that's the only trade on, trade on gold. Singapore JPY. No, one trade right here. Ah no, sorry, it's uh, an EMA, it's not an horizontal line. So there is no trade, no, 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 no trade. This one is gone. This one is uh, during the news, we can count it as a loss, and we have one win just after. So this level right here, 
right here is a loss. And the next one, touch before making a huge movement down and reversing up. So it's a winning trade and that's it for this pair. Now let's look at CHF Singapore. So CHF Singapore inside, inside. This level is gone. Inside the envelope. Inside the envelope. Outside the envelope. This one right here is a beautiful trade. So stop loss would have been 10 plus 2, 12 pips. And uh, 12 pips times 3, 36. It made 32. And when it made two reward, we put to break even. So this one is a break even trade. I don't count it as a win. This one is inside the envelope, so we can remove it. And the last level is just inside the envelope. So there is no more trade. Now CHF JPY. Okay, so let's start. This level inside. This level outside. This one is a loss. And the next level is a win. So we have one loss. One win after inside the envelope right here and outside right here. So how many pips? It went against us 16, 50, 15 pips. And the stop loss would have been around 10. So it's a losing trade. And uh, this one is inside the envelope. So there is no more trade on this profile. Let's look at CAD JPY. Okay, this level inside the envelope. This level is outside. How many pips against us does it go? It goes 13 pips, it break our stop loss. And uh, tac, tac, this one touch already three times, so you remove it. When the level is touched more than two times, you just remove it. You don't trade it anymore. So we have one loss here. After we have one trade right here outside the envelope. Beautiful trade right here. Made all the way down, so it's a winning trade. And after we have this trade, it's a losing trade. So one loss, two loss, one win, and uh, tac, tac, and that's it. This one is inside the envelope, so last one right here. So no trade right here. So on CAD GPY, that's it. Let's look at CAD CHF. Okay, so CAD CHF, first level right here, outside the envelope. This one is a losing trade. One loss, this one is inside the envelope, and that's it for this pair. So we have one loss. Now let's make Euro pairs. Okay, so this one inside the envelope, didn't retouch, this line is gone, this one outside, so one loss, and this one uh, inside the envelope, no trade, so one loss, two loss on this profile, and actually we have one win right here, but I will not count it, so I will count two loss only, two losses only. Now let's look at Eurocad, so Eurocad, this one is a losing trade, and after, tac, 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 this one stop loss would have been 19 so 9.5 plus 2 11.5 and the uh, stop loss didn't trigger so we are good and it made the profit so this one is a winning trade now let's look at euro chf inside the envelope uh, inside the envelope outside the envelope this one eventually it's a losing trade and that's it so one loss on this one only Euro New Zealand. Okay, so envelope uh, outside, inside, outside. This one is outside. Made only 14 pips. Stop loss would have been 16 plus 3, 19. Uh, 19, 19. And uh, 19 times 3, 57. Made 50, so it's a break even trade actually. So this one is a break even. Second inside the envelope. Inside the envelope, let me check. Uh, loss, I will count one loss right here and one win right here. And this one can be counted also. Now I will count only one win to make worst case scenario. One win and one loss right here. Now let's look at Euro JPY. Okay, Euro JPY outside the envelope, this level only, and this one is a loss. And two loss, that's it for this. Two losses. Euro Singapore, this one is inside the envelope. And this one is also inside the envelope, and that's it for this pair. Euro Hong Kong, inside the envelope, outside. Stop loss would have been 55, uh, 55, 5, and it made only 63 against us. And uh, 63, 180. It made two rewards, so it's a break-even trade right here. 
So we have one break even. This one is a winning trade. So one break even right here, one winning right here, and one loss. Overall, one win, one loss on this profile. Euronok. Euronok. Inside the envelope. Inside the envelope. Inside the envelope. Uh, yeah, this one eventually adds the envelope. It made only 100 in our favor, so it's a losing trade. We can count one loss, two loss eventually right here, and that's it. So two loss on this pair. Now let's look at Eurozar. Uh, inside the envelope, except this one right here, and this one is a winning trade. So we have one win, and uh, what about this? This one, one loss. One win, one loss, and one win back there right here. One win, one loss, one win. So two win, one loss on this chart. Eurosec. Outside the envelope, no trade. Uh, actually, there is a trade right here. Made 87, so this one is within the range of the stop loss. And it made 270. 280. So it didn't achieve exactly three rewards, so it's a break-even trade, actually. One break-even. This one is inside the envelope. Uh, this one is a trade and make 300 pips, so this is a winning trade. So we have one break even, one winning, and this one is a second winning right here. So two win and one break even on this pair. Just to show you, so this one is inside, this one outside the envelope following the trend, so this trade is a trade break even. Didn't touch the level inside the envelope, so no trade after inside the envelope, and this one is outside the envelope. This is our first winning trade. And the second is right here, outside the envelope, following the train, the trend, winning trade also. That's it. Now let's look at GBP pairs. They were a very big move at the beginning of the month, so we might have some losses there. Let's check what happened. So this one, inside the envelope, uh, this one at the envelope, so stop loss would have been, uh, tac tac 18, plus 3, 21, 21 and 61. Uh, it made only 45 actually, so it's a break-even trade. So this one is break-even, this one right here is a loss, and this one is a loss. So two loss, one break-even. And when we get down... Oh, this one is a trade actually. It's a losing trade. Another... Yeah, GBP was pretty messy during this month. Now let's look at GBP CHF. So inside the envelope, outside the envelope, we have one trade right here. But it make only one reward, so it's a losing trade. And after we have one, two, and one win. So one, two, three losses and one win so far. One win, one, two, three, so it's a break even. And after we have this level right here, so stop loss made 16. The stop loss would have been 18 plus 321, and it made, uh, this one is a winning trade. So there is two win on this pair, actually. Plus uh, this one, which is a loss, right here. So, two win, three losses. Now, GBP CAD. GBP CAD, uh, what do we have? Uh, we have a first trade right here, at the level. Made, say, made 50, so it made two rewards. So this one is a break-even trade. The second trade right here is a beautiful winning trade. So we have one break-even, one win, one loss, two loss, and one win. So, oh, actually, we have three. So, this level is a winning trade. This level is a break-even. After, what do we have outside the envelope? Ah, uh, eventually, this level is a losing trade. So, one more loss. After, this one was taken, so we don't take it. One loss right here. One loss right here. One win right here. Then, one loss right here. And one win right here. So, one win two win, three wins, so equal nine reward, and one, two, three, four loss, four losses. That's it for GBP CAD, now GBP JPY. Outside in Europe we have these trades, very nice trade, made 83, stop loss would have been 20 plus 4, 24, so 24 times 3, 72, it's a winning trade, one win, one win right here. Second level, outside the envelope, no, there isn't. This one, eventually, outside the envelope, so one loss, two loss, three loss, and that's it. So we have one win and three loss. Uh, this one was inside, so no trade. So only three loss and one win on this pair. GBP New Zealand. 
So this one outside the envelope is a losing trade. After what do we have? This one a losing trade. This one is a winning trade. And this one is a losing trade. So, so far 1, 2, 3 loss and 1 win. GBP Singapore um, inside. So no trade. Actually, there is a trade right here. This one is a trade. And it's a very nice winning trade. Uh, after, what do we have? This one is a losing trade. This one is a losing trade. This one, too. And this one, I believe, too. So, so far we have 1, 2, 3, 4 losses, 1 win. Euro GBP. Sorry, let's start Euro GBP from scratch. One trade right here, winning trade. This one, losing trade. Next level, losing trade, losing trade. So one win, one, two, three, losing trade. Now let's look at GBP try. GBP try, what happened? This one was outside, so it's a losing trade right here. Inside the envelope, inside the envelope, outside the envelope. Second losing trade, third losing trade, fourth losing trade, five losing trade on this pair. One, two, three, four, five. GBP second. Inside the envelope, so no trade. This one is a winning trade. <gasps> this one is a winning trade, so good. This one right here uh, is a losing trade. And the next right here is a losing trade. And that's it. So, so far we have uh, one win, two losses. And now let's look at GBP knock. This level was inside, so no trade. This one was inside, so no trade. This one was outside, and it's a winning trade. It made 60, and the stop loss would have been uh, tac, 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 18 plus 321, 63. 63, and it made uh, tac, uh, 60. Oh no, it's a break even trade, actually. So this one is break even. This one is a winning trade. So all those level are gone. This one can be taken. It's a winning trade. So we have one, two winning, one break even, one loss, and one win right here. And that's it. So one win, two win, three win, one loss. Three win, one loss for this pair. Now let's look at New Zealand. Okay, knock GPY. This one was outside. So one loss, two loss, three loss. Three losses for knock GPY. NZD. JPY. One loss. One loss. Inside the envelope, so I don't count it. Two loss. And I think this one is a winning trade. 33 stop loss would have been uh, around uh, 10. So yeah, this is one. Uh, this one is a winning trade. So one loss, two loss, one win. Now let's look at New Zealand CHF. Um, okay, inside the envelope, uh, nothing outside. Now this one is outside. Okay, how many pips against it? It went 7 pips against us, and the stop loss would have been 14 divided by 2, 7 plus 2, 9 pips. So this one is a uh, 27 pips. It achieved it, yeah. This one is a winning trade. One winning right here. This one is a losing trade. Spike was too big. And what happened after that? We eventually have this one that you can win. I will not count it, but it was a good trade. And that's all outside the envelope. So we have regular, one win, one loss. Now let's look at New Zealand CAD. So, New Zealand CAD. Outside the envelope, this one is inside the envelope. Uh, this one is inside the envelope. Uh, and this one is outside the envelope. So this one is a winning trade. No, sorry. This one made only 16, so it's a... Uh, it's not a break-even, it's a losing trade. And outside the envelope, we have another losing trade, so this one is a loss. This one is a loss. This one is a winning trade. And that's the only one we have. So we have two losses and one winning. Still make profit on this pair. Now let's look at New Zealand. USD. Okay, New Zealand USD. This one is inside the envelope. This one is inside the envelope. And I didn't touch this one. So no trade either. Outside the envelope didn't retouch. Inside the envelope. This one is at the envelope, so we may count one loss right here. And what about the next? It made 10 pips against us and only 19 pips. So it's a losing trade also. I will count it as a losing. 
So we have two losses and that's it. Two losses on NZD USD. Now let's look at USD pairs. So USD CAD start here. Outside the envelope, this one is inside, so no trade. Outside right here, so it's a losing trade right here. Uh, outside, losing trade. Losing trade. Inside, so no trade. Outside the envelope for this one, and this one is a winning trade. So winning trade right here. This one is inside the envelope and outside, winning trade right here. Beautiful winning right here, beautiful winning right here. And that was it. So we have one, two, three losses and two winning. USD JPY. Okay, so it started at 27 right here. No trade, no trade inside the envelope. Inside the envelope. There is no line actually. Uh, this one reversed just before. So we have one loss right here. And uh, two losses on this chart. USD CHF. Okay, so outside the envelope we don't have any trades, uh, we have one loss right here. Inside the envelope, no trade. Inside the envelope, inside the envelope. Uh, eventually this one, at the envelope, it made 18 pips against uh, with us, so it's two rewards, so it's a break-even trade, not a winning. So we have only one loss on this chart and no winning trades. So, no trade here, this one outside the envelope so it made uh, tac, 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 22 pips with us the stop loss would have been uh, 8 divided by 2 so 4 plus 1 5 15 so this one is a winning trade this one eventually it made 4.5 and it made 15 so it's a winning trade also we have one win right here two wins one win two win this one is uh, we can't count it as a loss this one is a loss because the price made 9 pips against us. And after we have this one right here, it's a beautiful trade, made 5.2, so eventually a loss too. I will count it as a loss. So we have 2 win and 3 losses, which still make it a profit for this pair. That's it, so now let's look at USD ZAR. This level, eventually, we, we count it as a losing trade. Inside the envelope touch, outside the envelope, so this one might be a winning trade. 96, yeah, it's a winning trade. So we have one win right here, one loss. Then inside the envelope, so no trade, inside the envelope, inside the envelope. So just one win and one loss on this chart. Now let's look at SEC JPY. Inside the envelope, eventually one losing trade right here, two losing trade right here. 3 losing trade right here and that's it now USD Polonia inside the envelope uh, one loss right here one win uh, right here and that's it so one loss one win okay so now let's look at USD Danish Krona one trade right here so this trade made 100 pips uh, stop loss would have been around 50 so it's a break-even trade after we have one loss right here and one loss right here so two losses on this pair now USD Xetch started around here so we have eventually one loss right here inside the envelope one loss right here one loss right here so on this pair three losses now let's look at USD H U F. So this one, one loss, two losses inside the envelope, outside here. So this one is a winning trade, and uh, this one stop loss would have been uh, tac tac uh, 27 around 30. Yeah, this one is a loss too. So on this chart, you have one, two, three losses and one winning. And finally, let's look at USD. Mexican peso. So what do we have here? At the beginning we have a nice trade right here. It's a winning trade. Beautiful trade. Then inside the envelope of this level, inside the envelope of this level. Same right here. Same right here. Outside for this one. So let me count how many pips. It made 75 pips and the stop loss would have been around 20. So it's a winning trade actually. 
So we have another winning trade right here. And uh, this level, may we can count it as a loss. And that was it for this specific trade. So we have one win, two win, and one loss. Which make it five reward profit. So we are done for the count of all the trade of this specific gift profile. The total account is... Forty-four winning trades with three reward, which make it one thirty-two reward profit, and for the losses, ninety-two. Ninety-two risk losses. So one thirty-two minus ninety-two equal forty reward profits, which make it eighty percent profit on this profile on one month taking every trade. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, the profile that I provide every week is way way more profitable than this one that was a gift. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you made money out of it and uh, see you next week. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses, one on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.